Senia, and we're digging into the secrets of Charleston 20s. And the next dizzy move I would like to share with you is called Happy Feet. We will start with this position. This is our default position. Heels outside, toes touching each other. And from this position, we have two ways out, to the right or to the left. If I want to go to the left, I'm opening my left toe. I'm going wah, wah. I'm opening my toe and closing my heel at the same time. Seven, eight, one, and one, and one, and. Say if I want to go to the right, I'm opening my right nose and I'm closing my left heel. So we go wah, wah. So the situation that we're in here is that my left foot is on the ball of its feet and my right foot is on the heel. And that would be the principle we're, go we're going to be working with happy feet. So one end, one end, open up default. You can open uh, your toe and leave it up or you can as well put it on the floor and go like this. Wa, pa, and the same to the left. Wa, pa. If we connect those two and we'll go right, left, right, left, right, left. So that would be the pattern, that would be technique of it. Now the whole shebang around in our body. First of all, you can play with your knees. You don't necessarily have to always stay like this, bending. You can stretch one of the knees and bend the other at the same time. Take a look. Wah. The knee of the foot that I'm opening to the right is completely straight. Sha. Then I'm going back to the default position, I'm bending them. I'm opening to the left. Sha. What does it give me? It will give me, in the end, a little sense of diagonal movement. I can actually accelerate and exaggerate that movement using my shoulders. Check it out. I'm going to the right. I'm not only straightening up this knee, but I'm as well extending my shoulder, creating this diagonal line. I'm going back. I'm extending my left. Going back. Right, going back. Left, going back. Now, here's the thing about the shoulders. Where do they actually go? So if you take a look, this would be straight, straight up, yeah? This would be to the side, using actually not your shoulder, but your chest. And this would be too diagonal, to the corner of the room you're practicing, yeah? 45 degrees. So actually take yourself and drag yourself to the corner of your room, yeah? See this dimension. Come back, drag, come back, drag, come back. So what is not happening by any means is this, yeah? So an attempt to lift my shoulder, but actually to roll it. And so what is the furthest of my body is my rib, yeah? The furthest point of my body should be my shoulder. I actually take my rib cage and place it a little bit to the side. Yeah, and extend and accelerate, exaggerate the movement with the shoulder. So if we put those two together and we think about diagonal, diagonal, actually maybe diagonal is not even helpful to think of. It's, what is good is to think horizontal, yeah? So you're not going up, yes? You're going horizontal, yes? Parallel to the floor with your movement. Maybe that would be an easier thought uh, for you to practice and to find this feeling. Mirror is our best friend in that case. So we go wah, a wah, a wah, a wah. What I like to do is when I go back to the default position, I like to go back to zero in all senses, like drop my shoulders, drop my bounds, drop my knees, everything goes here. And that's how, in the end, if you do it faster, you'll get this bouncy feeling. So if you grab the feeling of being a puppet, in this movement. You can do it very, very fast and still be very bubbly. So let's try together. We get a little bit of bubbles <laughs> in the eyes and in the head and we go pop, 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 pop. You can as well uh, accentuate the movement with your head, but what you can do here, it's an immense possibility. For example, you can get stuck. You can loop one particular movement and go like this. Yes, so you can actually double your open up or make it single time, but just do it twice. One, two, 
or do a double, double, double boom. Let's practice.